All right, thanks for joining us another episode of Money TV. I'm Don Belarjan. I'm so happy you could be with us. Of course, Money TV is the program all about money and what makes it happen. Now imagine for a moment that you've got a kid in college. You're already committed to spending a large amount of your money on tuition, housing, books, everything that goes with financing a college education. You knew this going in. You accepted that. But let's say you also gave your kid a credit card to cover things you didn't anticipate. And the kid just went nuts, ridiculous spending, then couldn't pay off the balances, and you started incurring interest expense month after month. Well, you'd no doubt would sit down with your kid, try to get it under control, right? Well, what would you do if your kid looked you in the face and said, sorry, you just need to make more sacrifices and send me more money? After all, Dad, it's your fault this happened because you gave me the credit card. Well, something tells me Junior would be out of school in a hurry. But this is exactly what's going on in the federal government of the United States right now. They're spending on our tax credit card. It's absolutely out of control. And any attempt to rein it in is met with roadblocks and oppositions and threats of government shutdown. The United States is now only $80 billion away from its debt ceiling. Now, that may sound like a lot until you discover that we're borrowing more than $3 billion a day. What that means is just to reach the end of our fiscal year in September, we would have to borrow almost $1 trillion more over and above our current debt ceiling of $14 trillion. Now, Washington throws the word trillion around like it's monopoly money, but I want you to look at it this way. Go back in time 14 trillion seconds, and that's equal to 450,000 years. That's a full 100,000 years before the first man walked the earth. So once again, President Obama, in his deficit speech this week, tells us the problem can be solved by taxing the wealthy, the same tired old class warfare position of the left. The only thing wrong with that is he thinks wealthy is $200,000 per year. Raising taxes on people making $200,000 per year, and you're raising taxes on people who own small businesses, who create jobs, and are the backbone of the American economy. You raise their taxes, they're going to have to cut back. They're going to have to hire less, expand less, and the economy suffers as a result. We all suffer. 200 grand, well, that might have been rich 40 years ago. Today, it's middle class. Obama says we all have to make sacrifices, but Washington's opposed, Washington's opposed to cutting the massive waste it has created. Multiple government agencies all doing the same job. Just like our irresponsible kid in college, we need to cut off Washington's credit card. Asking Americans for more of our money to fund their ridiculous spending, well, that's off the table. Now, here's something that's certainly on the table, our toll-free number, good from anywhere in the world you're watching the program, 888-259-4449. That's the number to call to get free information about our featured guests. When you do call, be sure and ask to be added to the subscription list of our Money TV newsletter. Again, toll-free, 888-259-4449. On your mobile phone, just text Money TV to GO800 or 46800. Have you visit us at MoneyTV.net, where you can watch this show right online. And we'd certainly like to have you follow us on Facebook and Twitter.